Welcome back everybody. So this piece of wood is a lovely piece of ash sitting at around four inches thick. So we're just marking out for the foot and the mortise. Well, it's spun round now and uh, we're just going to start turning it round. So the first tool we're going to be using here is the mid-size finisher from Easy Wood Tools. Like I say, we're just going to start turning it round to shape. Like a rather large foot on there, as you can see. We're going to start going in a minute with a mid-sized rougher, as you can see. Bring down to the, uh, the pedestal of the bowl. And then we get down to the uh, the final trick. We're going to go in with the beading tool from Easy Wood Tools, or the beading cutters, I should say. And then we're going to flatten that bottom off with the, uh, the mid size rougher again. And back to the finisher. Just to take down the uh, the sides and bring it round. There's the detailer, do a bit of cleaning up, and to the rougher to take the, the final shape, clean up some of them sides. And there you go. Very nice. Alright, so we're on to the bottom of the bowl now and we are going to create a mortise so we can hold it into the chuck. Starting off once again with the mid-size rougher and going in with the mid-size detailer just so it matches the angle of the jaws. I've already done most of the sanding so we're just going to finish up with some 240 grit here from Clean Spore Abrasives. Give it a bit of a clean off now. Have uh, with some methylated spirits or denatured alcohol. Get all the sawdust out of the grain. And some sanding sealer from Hampton Jean. Give a nice liberal coating. Very, very thirsty, this bit of wood. And some York the Grit Abrasive Paste. You can get this from Northside Custom Crafts if you are in the USA or Axminster. stuff. If you are in the UK, links down in the description. Right. You want to buff it in until you get a clean paper towel and you'll have the equivalent of around about a thousand grit. There you go. I'm going to finish it off the outside of the bowl with some Hampton King Gloss Wax. If you'd like to purchase any Hampton King products used in this video, there will also be a link down in the description for that. Just wiping it all over now. Make sure you get nice even coverage. Turn the lathe up to about a thousand to twelve hundred, and you just 
buff it in. Make you sure not to push too hard. You don't want to wipe off or uh, wipe off any wax that you put uh, put on there. the bottom done. Get it spun round now and let's get it hollowed out. So the first tool we're going to use is the CI5 or the number one hollower. Absolutely love this tool. Or just the way it peeks through the wood. By far my favourite tool of the easy wood range. Followed out. Wipe a bit of dust away. Checking the wall thickness with hand calipers. The metric ones. Alright, bit of sandy sand. Once again, already done most of it. So this is the 240 grit once again from Klingspore. And cleaning it off with some methylated spirits or denatured alcohol. Some sand and sealer. Grit abrasive paste. some Hampshire Sheen wax to finish it off nicely. There will be some pictures at the end. I would like to thank everybody for sticking around and watching this video. Um, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up and share it with your friends and share it with your family. You can share it with your enemies if you like. Um, and until next week, I shall see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.